there's this massive box right here and then there's like this box as well there's brand new formulas there is brand new collections at least i waxed my eyebrows this time let's start a petition please can we start a petition to bring it back well i am being dramatic but like i mean it hey guys and welcome to today's video so this is a super exciting video as you probably could tell from the title this is a massive color pop haul i got a ton of the newest stuff from ColourPop. So I'm going to be showing you everything I got. There's brand new formulas, there is brand new collections, and I'm really excited to be sharing this with you guys. All the stuff that I don't test today, I will be doing in upcoming videos. So if you're interested in seeing what I have in, let me just show you. There's this massive box right here, and then there's like, this box as well like it's massive if you want to see what i got from ColourPop, all of the new and exciting things and see we'll give a little spoiler we will be reviewing the cabana collection then keep on watching okay couple side notes before we get started number one i wasn't going to mention this because i thought if i don't mention it maybe they won't notice but if you do notice i want to at least have mentioned it because like i don't want you guys to think that like i don't notice this stuff because believe me i'm embarrassed but my nails i know okay so i finally got my fake nails back on right within two hours of getting my nails done all of the ends like a little bit has had chipped off i don't know what happened once they had chipped i kind of started picking i'm embarrassed don't judge me okay i have another wedding this weekend wedding season it's in two days i'm recording this on a friday you guys are seeing this monday so yesterday I was at a wedding and I wanted to have my nails like real fresh for the wedding. I also just honestly didn't have time. I, if I had time, I probably would have done it today and then just had to touch them up if anything happened. But I like swear I didn't have any time. So don't judge me, okay? I'm sorry. At least I waxed my eyebrows this time, right? <laughs> I'm also having an emotional day because I just found out that my, my Starbucks drink just got permanently discontinued so i didn't even get to have one last moment with my drink i actually am like really upset about it i'm like not even being dramatic well i am being dramatic but like i mean it when i say i'm real real upset about it i used to drink cool lime refresher day in and day out and then switched to very very biscuits ever since the switch it was like my new thing i literally could have like 17 a day um, anyways long story short i'm real upset i get the strawberry acai now that's apparently my new drink even though i don't love it that much it's pretty good though i do have to say it's just not the same it's not the same should we riot let's riot guys please comment down below do you guys drink very very hibiscus refresher if so let's start a petition please can we start a petition to bring it back it needs to happen like today okay so the first product in today's little haul before we get into the cabana collection is the cherry crush collection i did not get everything but from the collection i got the eyeshadow palette and the cheek do this is a formula that i've never tried i won't be trying it today because it is not in the cabana collection but i will be trying this very very soon it's a cherry themed palette so it's going to be you know red berry pink tones but it's fun and it's nice to have it's not completely red which i like i like that it has the berry tones the blush is a little bit intimidating but i am very excited to try the formula and because it's a serum blush i think it's going to be maybe not too like over the top pigmented so i think it would be the type of formula i would want a red blush in i also got the costa coral collection this is the eyeshadow palette this isn't the newest collection you'll still probably do a little review on it again please comment down below which you know collections you want to see first what products you want to see first I want to do what you guys are looking for so if there's something in this you know haul that you want to see first please comment down below and then i also got the little shadow duo this is the super shock formula so it comes in little like duos so they are single shadows which i'm not a huge fan of but if i'm gonna get them i'm gonna probably get the ColourPop 
super shocked because I love the formula. This one is really, really pretty. This is the shade Sail Away from the Coast to Coral duo. It's like a sheer formula, but it's still nice and bright. It kind of is like almost that glitter topper. So I'm really pumped to test that. And lastly, from the Coast to Coral collection, I did get the two cream gel liners. So I recently reviewed the So Very Lovely collection. And if you watch the review, I will link it below. But if you watch the review, I really was disappointed in the... Um, liners that were included in that collection but this is a different formula I have swatched it and it seems like it's gonna be better but obviously I'm gonna have to test it it comes with like a coral and then like a peach oh those are pretty so I got the Costa coral collection as well I also got the fine feathered collection which is relatively new I think it came out end of May really beautiful like purple berry toned eyeshadow palette along with the two liners it comes with like a plum and then like kind of a fuchsia pinky liner and then it also comes with where did you go ah here you are i also got the super shock duo from the fine feathered collection a more obviously purple themed collection so as you can see these are also you know more purpley and they definitely fit the collection so another beautiful stunning super exciting collection to review i'm not really getting into details i'm not doing the whole swatch because i will be doing dedicated videos for these collections collections um, so again stay tuned the last collection before the cabana collection is the lush life lush life one is so pretty for summer it has those beautiful like jungle greens and blues and it would be a really really pretty palette to play around with love the packaging on this it also came with gel liners from this collection as well it comes with like a metallic green and then a matte kind of more emerald dark kind of forest green. And I also got the Lux Gloss. I really love this formula and I love this beautiful coral shade. So I did get that as well. So this is the products that I got from the Lush collection. Then the last product that I got is the Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain. So I got a whole ton of the shades, eight of them. There is a trio here. They come in sets. So I got the Berry Punch, I think it's called, set. And it is like a more berry toned, purple toned, like trio. Really, really beautiful packaging, I do have to mention. I feel like this looks and feels a little bit more luxe. I feel like a, a lot of their packaging is luxe. Like their glosses are really, really pretty. But there's something about this that's very simple and elegant. And I really like the packaging on it. And I'm really excited to be testing this formula i will be doing a dedicated video i'm honestly probably going to do it on saturday because i think i'll be able to fit it in five minutes application and with a wear test if you're interested in anything i just mentioned and including the new glossy lip stains a brand new formula from ColourPop. then don't forget to subscribe to my channel ring the bell and if you're interested in email notifications to be notified of all of my upcoming videos then go ahead and select um, all. I'm really excited to be testing these. I also got the trio, which was, I forget the name of it, Fruit Snack, I believe it was. A more kind of warm toned, a little more kind of on the pink orangey side. It looks like there's an orange, a, a coral, and like a more red. The last two that I got are a more like nude shades. There's Sugar Snap and Twice shy so these are really really pretty as well more everyday shades i'm actually like the reason i'm most excited about these is because i love products that like last a long time and that kind of stain the lips so that even though it might not look like how you first applied it you have something on the lips and i love that like kind of you know wash of color stained glass type look as they describe it just bitten um, look so I'm really excited to be reviewing those those are coming very very soon along with everything else We're gonna have a lot of color pop videos. I hope you guys are okay with that Let's hop out of haul mode and into review mode and let's talk about the cabana collection The idea behind this collection is like poolside summer Fun colors, pretty poolside pops of bright color mixed with hints of neutral is how they describe it. So this is the actual eyeshadow palette. As you can see, there's a lot going on. You have yellow, you have blue, you have purple, you have, you know, some more neutral and and brown kind of everyday shades. There is a lot going on. There's peach, like 
you could do a whole ton with this. I'm curious to see if things will come together just because there's so much. Like there's yellow, brown, purple, blue. It's a lot in one palette. So we're gonna see today if we can actually create a full together look. I did get the full collection including the BFF cream gel liners. As we already talked about, this is different than the formula I tested in the So Very Lovely. Ah, that's the difference. So the cream gel pencils are the ones that I tried, but the cream gel liners, we'll see if the formula is different today. You get a nice, beautiful, like plummy purple um, shade, which is called Plum Smash. Isn't that pretty? And then you also get a nice bright blue, which is called Crystal Crush. I think we're gonna do like a blue purple look today because then we could tie these in. The collection also came with three lip crayons. So there is the shade Rose Way, kind of rosy pink. And these are lip crayons, but they're more like sheer and they have a little bit more of like a lighter, they have that kind of wash of color, which I love. I really enjoy these for like everyday, you know, simple lips. They are quite pigmented though. Then we have the shade Coral Kiss, a nice coral. And then the last one is Pink Flamingo. Oh my goodness. I just broke it. I was not even pressing that hard. It must have broke in the, like while shipping. Oh, that's so upsetting. I was so pumped about, I was actually gonna probably use this one. I'm trying to swatch it here for you guys. So bear with me. Like, look at this. I'm so upset. That is the Pink Flamingo, which is actually more of like a kind of purpley pink. It's like a bright kind of pinky purple. Oh, sorry guys, I actually forgot a gel liner, which is the shade at sunset. I was gonna say, I thought there was three, which is like a nice coral with almost like a golden, like metallic, so pretty. And then last but not least, we have Blush Sticks, which is their cream blush formula, um, like their stick formula. I have used this one before, but I really, really enjoy it. We have the shade Shell Out, just so pretty. It's kind of like a pinky corally shade. We have the shade Too Hot, which is like more kind of pinky hot pink and then we have the shade rum runner which is kind of a more nude so pretty i can't wait okay so that is the cabana club collection i'm gonna go ahead and top some foundation and everything on off camera and then we will come back and we will start with the blush sticks. I am going to just go ahead and play and then I will come back and give you my final review on the collection.
Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm actually obsessed with the eye look that I came up with, if I do say so myself. Breaking down quickly um, what I think of things. I honestly love this. The shades that I used were absolutely stunning. This one, this one, this one, all three mattes were pigmented, very blendable, and they actually really went way better together than I even expected. This blue is one of the most stunning, like aqua teal metallics, super, super pigmented like really, really beautiful. And honestly, that's just four shades out of the palette. You could go with a really like golden, peachy, warm look. There's yellow, there's a lot to do with it. The only thing I'd say is it is a little bit all over the place. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more like, if you're a beginner, this might not be the best palette for you because it's, it's a lot, you know, there's like these, these three shades here are quite every day. Um, you know, you have some everyday metallic. So there are quite a few shades here you can use for every day, but if you, you know, you don't know how to kind of piece colors together, you might struggle with this palette just because there's a lot. There's purples, there's blues, there's orange, there's yellow, there's brown, there's gold. It's a lot. If it's, a, you know, a color scheme you can be interested in, if it's a color scheme you think is something you want to play with i think you won't be disappointed i mean i really have no complaints the only thing is color scheme is obviously a little more out there a little more playful so if it's something that you maybe find a little too intimidating then it's maybe one you'd pass on i personally thought it was a lot of fun to play with and i definitely will continue to play around so far so good with that i didn't end up using the purple liner but the blue one i popped in the waterline it transferred much better than the liners i used in the so very lovely collection so i really really um, have higher hopes. Obviously, I would have to continue to test them in terms of wear, but upon first impression, these are much better than the ones from the So Very Lovely collection, which barely transferred onto my waterline at all. As you can see, it's very pigmented. It hasn't worn down at all when I, and I've had it on for about 10 minutes. So really, really great. These are kind of the three color stories you can go with. You can go with like a blue and a purple look, or you can go with the more warm, you know, yellow, peachy, golden tones, and this would fit right in. So I definitely think that um, if you're going to get the whole collection, they definitely, you know, give you a good selection. When it comes to the lip tints, I love this formula. One thing I will say is just be maybe gentle um, with it because mine broke. It was actually really kind of frustrating, but I was still able to get a good, easy, simple, quick application, even though it was like literally flat. I used the edge to kind of line and then just used the thing straight out like a normal lipstick. I love how it kind of is almost like a sheer yet still pigmented, almost like kind of that see-through wash of color, but still pigmented, like it's a quite, a beautiful color. This is the shade Pink Flamingo that I used. The other shades are beautiful as well. Again, I think great colors for the shadows that you get. Like they give you, it's, I think the collection really is well thought out. Even though it's the shadow palette is a little all over the place, I do think that everything else really ties it all in together. And I love the formula. It feels like you just have a really, really lightweight lip balm on. And it has a beautiful color, a beautiful like, um, kind of citrusy scent, but it's not too heavy. Uh, yeah, I really love, 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 love this formula. I already knew the formula, so I'm not really surprised how much I love this. And I actually haven't used these in a while, so I'm excited to have some new shades. I will most definitely be using these more often. They're so easy, they're quick, they are beautiful, and they do last quite a while. They're not the most long wearing lip product, but they are a more natural kind of that like stained lip kind of look. So I really, really, really enjoyed them. And last but not least, the blush stick. I again am familiar with the formula. It's a beautiful pigmented, lightweight, hydrating cream blush that looks like skin. It melts into your makeup and I really, really enjoy the shades. Um, I probably wouldn't play with this shade all the time. It's a little bit too bright for me, but I thought it tied into the look and that's why I chose it today. That was the shade Too Hot. I personally think I would play around with the other two shades all the time. I really actually am pumped to have these in my collection. The shade Shell Out, which is the more like kind of coral and the Rum Runner, which is a little bit more of like a nude 
kind of undertone. So I really, really like those two shades. Too Hot is nice, but it's maybe not, it's a little bit bright. It's a, it's it's like a bright pink. It is still beautiful. It's not too big pigmented, it's blendable. It definitely blends and shears out if you want it to, but it also builds. So yeah, I mean, ultimately the Cabana collection, the Cabana Club collection really impressed me. Um, another hit by ColourPop. Kind of take a look at the color scheme and take a look and see if it's something you'd be interested in. And if that's the case, then I think you would you would enjoy this. Um, and again, you don't have to get the whole collection. In terms of formula, I'm really impressed with everything, guys. So that is everything for today's video. Stay tuned for swatches of everything up close and personal. I really, really enjoyed this collection. It's another fun summer collection. Is the palette one I would go to every day? Probably not. Well, no, it, it just, it, straight up, it wouldn't be. I'll be honest with you. But is it a fun color scheme that I, I honestly don't have anything like this in my collection. It's just so fun. There's so many different colors to play with. So I really, really, really like it. Um, I recommend it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of these other wonderful collections. The reviews are coming very, very soon. Don't forget to comment which ones you are interested in. Give this video a thumbs up for me and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. High season. Rattan. Bikini. Cool off. Go bananas. Copa cutie. Limelight. Bahama mama. Take it easy. Throw shade. Cha-cha-cha, pool party. Too hot, shell out, rum runner, pink flamingo, rosé way, Coral Kiss, Plum Smash, Crystal Crush, At Sunset.